How are you today? Hey, Grandma's happy to be here. Today, I want to continue telling you some of the story of when the children of Israel, after they left Egypt, and this part of the story is called the Ten Commandments. Two months after leaving Egypt, the Israelites pitched their tents at the foot of Mount Sinai, and Moses went up onto the mountain. There, the Lord revealed that he was ready to make a covenant with the children of Israel. If the Israelites would be obedient, they would become the chosen people of the Lord. When Moses returned from the mountain, he gathered the elders of Israel and told them about the covenant the Lord was willing to make. The elders answered together and said, all that the Lord has spoken, we will do. When Moses told the Lord the people were willing to enter the covenant, the Lord answered, Lo, I come unto thee in a thick cloud, that the people may hear when I speak with thee, and they will believe thee forever. Then the Lord instructed Moses to go to his people and prepare them spiritually and physically to see the glory of the Lord and hear his voice. On the third day, the Lord would come down in the sight of all the people. Moses was thrilled that his people would be able to see the glory of the Lord. With instructions from the Lord, he went down from the mountain to prepare his people for this great event. And it came to pass on the morning of the third day, there were thunderings, lightnings, and a thick cloud upon the mount. And the voice of the trumpet exceedingly loud, and all the people in the camp trembled. Moses knew this was the sign to lead his people from the camp to the foot of the mountain. They weren't going to climb the mountain. They were just at the foot of the mountain. There the people would meet with God. The whole mountain quaked and was covered with smoke because the Lord had come to the mountain in a fire. Everything around had a sacred feeling. Even though the people could not see God because he was in the cloud, they could feel his presence and they could hear his powerful, majestic voice when he spoke to them. God introduced himself saying, I am the Lord thy God, which brought thee out of the land of Egypt and out of bondage. And then the Lord gave them 10 very special commandments. Number one. Thou shalt have no other gods before me. Number two, thou shalt not make unto thee any graven image. Number three, thou shalt not take the name of the Lord thy God in vain. Number four, remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy. Number five, honor thy father and thy mother that thy days may be long upon the land which the Lord thy God giveth thee. Number six, thou shalt not kill. Number seven, thou shalt not commit adultery. Number eight, thou shalt not steal. Number nine, thou shalt not bear false witness against thy neighbor. Number 10, thou shalt not covet. While the Lord spoke, there was thunder, lightning, and the noise of a trumpet, and the mountain smoked. This frightened the people, and they moved away from the mountain. They had never experienced anything like that before. They said to Moses, speak thou with, with us, and we will hear, but let not God speak us with us, lest we die. So they were afraid when they heard the voice of the Lord and they backed away. Moses understood their worry and comforted them, saying, Fear not, for God is come to help you. He has given you these commandments so that you may be happy. If we keep the commandments, they will help us to be happy. Don't we all want to be happy? But the people still, still stood afar off. Well, Moses went near the thick darkness where God was. The Israelites had heard God speak from heaven and had seen his glory manifested upon the mountain. 
Later, the Lord had Moses come again to the top of the mountain, and he wrote these same commandments on tablets of stone so that the Israelites could remember them and obey them. So if we will remember these 10 commandments, they will help us to be happy and they will help us to do those things that will protect us because commandments are like guardrails. They are protections for us. They keep us from getting into trouble and being hurt. And so if we will look at a commandment, not as a something restraining us and restricting us, but as something that protects us, that will help us to recognize that we should be keeping the commandments. We shouldn't rebel because the Lord loves us. And that's why he's telling us these things because he wants us to be happy. And he knows that the best way to be happy is by choosing the right. I hope you guys will always choose the right. Then we all slip up. And when we do, we need to be sorry and repent and try harder to do what's right because the Lord loves us and he'll be with us and will help us. Remember, grandma loves you. And I will come and tell you some more stories later. Bye.